Hmm, what's this? Hello, welcome back to The Freak Show. Bumpy McSquiggums here. I want to thank you all for joining me as I officially start up my real Let's Play or my real coverage of Tales of Magi All, the Embers of Rage DLC. It is a new expansion that is releasing today. In fact, it should be just shortly after this video. And it will have a, a lot of content in it, enough to rival the original TOME tome or Tales of Magi All, as it were. And the campaign takes place one year after the original Tales of Magi All campaign, and basically you have to liberate the orcs, their race is dying, it's nearly extinct, and it's up to you to save them. And there's a new class, a new race, and all that other wonderful fun stuff. Now you guys can be like, wait a minute, wait a minute, you already did this, didn't you? I, I sort of did, but I decided to tease you guys. There's been a lot of teasing on Twitter about the game and a lot of other random stuff. So I figured that I too would tease you guys by giving you a little bit of a sneak peek of what the campaign had to offer, but I decided not to play the a new class just to make you guys a little bit insane. I don't know if it's going to actually work. I was, I'm going to rename that one my Gotcha episode, so hopefully I got a few of you guys with that. I'm sure a few of you are going to be like, Oh, why didn't you, if you're going to do coverage, why didn't you do coverage of the new class? And you're going to just be like, No! But, you know, that's one cool thing about the Tales of Magile community. There's not a lot of jerks in it, so I don't think I have to worry about people, like, flaming me super hardcore, just like, Why? You know, questions and whatnot. Well, I hope I teased a bunch of you guys and you and you know you enjoyed a little bit of the content and now you get to actually enjoy the new class. So we're gonna hop in, we're gonna get started, and this is going to get officially underway. I'm hoping I can get everything uploaded at the right time to really kind of mess with your guys' minds. So we'll see. Either way, folks, let's begin, shall we? New game. The effects of the spell blaze were not all instant. Alright. So as we already know, we're gonna be going with the Orcs Embers of Rage. We're going to go with a male, we're going to call him, uh, we'll call him the same name this time. No, you know what, we're going to call him something else. We're going to call him, uh, just Squigs. I like it. We're just going to go with Squigs. It's going to be short and sweet. We already unlocked the Yeti, which was pretty cool. I didn't think that would be a thing that we would do, but apparently we did. So we already unlocked the Yeti, and we could probably play through that if we wanted, but we're going to go with the Oryx again, guys. And I'm going to give you what you probably wanted all along. We're going to go with the Saw Butcher. I almost did this, guys, and then I, I thought about it. I'm like, nope, you know what? I'm not going to do that. I'm not going to do that. I'm going to actually go with one of the random classes that are already out there, and you get the idea, guys. All right, onward! And we are here, the Orcish Fury. All right, we already know about the Orc passives and whatnot. And, oh, let's see, I should have probably looked at my stats a little bit closer. Oh, we have a little bit more into this wonderful, wonderful stat, the, the cunning here. So we'll have to see exactly what that is. Now I haven't actually looked this one over so this is really my first time playing it. I figured I would do that for all of you. Let's see what we actually have. I'm probably gonna go with another I'll do one point, two points in strength. We'll go one into constitution for now but we're gonna also throw up some cunning as well. And I don't mean vomiting cunning. Maybe. Maybe we'll vomit some cunning but I doubt it. Alright what do we have? We have the Steam Saw Mastery Increases the physical power by 13 and increases weapon damage by 25% while using steam saws, of course. Alright, this one hits the target on the arms with one rotating saw doing a bunch of damage and trying to maim it for two to three turns. Maim foes deal 33, 44, so on, percent less damage. Alright, uh, firmly plant your steam saws in the ground, using them to propel yourself very quickly. <laughs> That's pretty cool. Alright, so we have that, and then what is this one? Throw a small, unstable steam engine on the battlefield that will go critical after two turns. It will then create an explosion of hot vapor in a radius in radius one, burning all foes. Wow, that's actually not bad. Tick, tock, tick, boom. I like it a lot. All right, well, we're going to probably up our... I want to say we're going to up this one. I like the idea of maiming targets and taking less damage. And we're probably going to grab one of these as well, so there we go. All right, we already have the rake, uh, sorry, the racial passive for the orc, or the rake passive, if you will. If we can increase our physical power. Yeah, we'll get one of those points, and that's it. So we shall begin. What is this one? Working iron has honed your body into amazing shape, granting two strength and constitution. Oh, that's pretty neat. Alrighty, so let us begin officially now, guys and gals. As we read through the last episode, I'm sure you guys don't need me to read this again. If you want to read it, feel free to pause and read. I will read all future stuff that we haven't got to in the first gotcha episode. So be aware of that, guys. Be aware of that. Alright. So we shall accept this. 
and yeah, some craziness is happening. We're going to have to slowly move down here and see what is going on. Alright, so the battle ensued down there, and now we are here, and we are ready, or something. There is a steam giant. They are doing battle, and we are coming to also do battle. Yeah, we got our first hit in there. Alright. There it is, folks. There it is. We have done the deed. We have picked up the gold, and now we must go into the depths to do what it is we do. I also kind of wanted to relearn how to play, because it had been a little bit of time since I last played. Oh, we have some extra stuff here that we didn't have before. What is all this stuff? We should really look at this stuff here. Create Tinker. Um, instantaneous. Steam Tech. 100%. Steam allows you to create Tinkers. Huh. Oh, okay. So Healing Salve, Pain Suppressor Salve, Back Support. And uh, rocket boots. Those all sound super exciting. I don't think I need those right there. So we'll move them over here. This is the saw wheels, okay. And this is our actual attack. We have all these simple healing things, simple frost cell. We have block, which apparently is a, a talent there that we have. Assuming we have a shield, and I don't know if we actually do or don't. Looks like we don't. So, I don't know if the block thing is going to be super useful. Explosive steam engine, we do have that. That is a thing that we can definitely utilize. We'll move the block there, we'll move this over here, guys. Medical injector, okay. Not sure if we need that necessarily, but it's possible. An implant steam generator permanently creates 5 steam per turn, can be activated for an instant burst of 25 steam. And apparently this is our steam power, and it's going to run off of everything that we have. So instead of having a stamina, we have steam power this time around, guys. And this is going to be a way of boosting that. So I'll leave that right where it's at. And we'll see how all this plays out, guys. Oops, I actually didn't mean to use the frost salve. But I have done so. And it is a thing that has happened. Alright, we are going to use our saw wheels. And we are actually exceptionally quick when we use that. Alright, we're going to murder this guy, we're going to murder this guy, and that guy's going down as well. We picked up an axe, and it is a thing and now, folks. We're going to rest up and continue onward! Our steam power is looking pretty solid right now, and I'm a pretty big fan of that. And onward we go. It's a little disappointing to be doing this, but hey, you know what? We know what we're doing a little bit better now, so we should be able to get through this and get a little bit further than we did in the false episode one. That I got y'all with. I hope I did. I hope I fooled at least a few people. And then they're gonna be like, ah, bumpy guy. You never can trust him. What are we going to do with that bumpy guy? Alright, I think I'm gonna move this here. I think this just increases our speed. I don't think it actually, like, propels us along. I thought maybe it did. But it seems to just increase the speed at which we do things. So, when we roll out on people, we can actually just murder them. It looks like we do get bleeds and such going on as well. All right, I shall slay you, sir. All right, this thick sealed armor utilizes a ventilation system to heal your wounds using a heated mist. Ooh, therapeutic plate mail. That sounds exciting. Is that what we just picked up? Yeah, it is. All right, and how does that compare to what we have right now? We lose... It looks like we do... Le we, we get less fatigued? I don't know why that would be in red. But apparently it does give us less fatigue, so we shall equip it over here, maybe. Does it not want to allow us to... Oh, oh, that's like a... Hmm. Oh, we don't have enough strength. Okay, never mind. Never mind. We need armor training, too. Okay, well, I think I want to remove that from this thing, though. Get that out of the... Uh, tr the What is it? The transmogrification uh, dealy. It's fine. All right. Transmogrification, yeah. Ooh, neck piece. The copper amulet of strength. Alright, where is the copper amulet of strength? It is here. And we shall place it on our beam, up here. Alright, well, we're pretty close to the end of this little tunnel, and then we're going to go run through and make sure that we clear out everything, because we're awesome and we can do stuff like that. And then you will all rejoice and be glad in it. Let us hope that we have enough oomph to take on the new guy here coming at us. Alright, we will use our superpower. 
Uh, you may define a hotkey by pressing M following a uh, hotkey not defined. Oh, my bad. Alright, we'll throw that there. And we shall attack you. And we shall probably have to heal ourselves in some way. Must be selected first by salves. Okay. And we are kind of getting wrecked a little bit here. I'm not going to lie. It's going kind of poorly for us. So we're going to have to fall back a little bit here. Buy ourselves a little bit of time. And rest. I know he's kind of still closing with us. Alright, we're going to go with the healing. And we're going to heal ourselves up. We're going to increase our speed again. And we're going to go for the murder death killing. And there it is. We were victorious once again. That was a little bit scary though. Alright, the blood of life. This vial of blood was drawn from an ancient race in the Age of Haze. Some of the power and vitality of those early days of the world still flows through it. Drink me, mortal. The red liquid seems to whisper in your thoughts. I will bring you light beyond darkness. Those who taste my essence fear not the death of flesh. Drink me, mortal, if you value your life. Alright. So there we go. We just got a whole bunch of rando stuff. Alright, it looks like our medical injector is ready to use, which is our pretty darn Q. Alright, what do we get? We got some brawler gauntlets right here, which we can use because we have, well, it looks like we have iron gauntlets. Let's see how those stack up. Yeah, it looks like it's um, just kind of a, a net win overall for us there. Um, can we move this to the transmogrify? Yes. Alright, let's see here. The Spiked Armor of Magoo. We don't have the talent to use that yet either. Alright. I think I'm probably just gonna get rid of that. I don't know. We'll see. The Iron Battle Axe? Absolutely not. We do have the Blood of Life. Um, it can be used to quaff the Blood of Life to gain an extra life. Oh, well. That sounds delicious. Let's, uh... Let's move that to my uh, inventory here. Let's see how that actually works. Do we quaff it? It doesn't seem to work for me. Left click to use, right click to configure, and to set up. Mm. Well, I'm trying to use the blood of life, but it's not letting me. I don't know if there's something I specifically need. It's a potion. Well, you know what? We're going to take it out of the transmogrification inventory and we're gonna do it the right way all right we're gonna go search around and see aha we found a new enemy here to face and do murder to we've also leveled up several times and I have not actually given you guys any of the, the leveling up just yet so we probably went into that a little bit weaker than we had to but eh, that's okay you guys don't seem to mind all right we shall do that and the quest is done yes the quest of Steamwork and Pain. Alright, so now we need to use our Rod of Recall to get out of here. And just like that, we are going to close this out and transmogrify all of it. And victory is ours. <laughs> Alright, sweet, sweet, nice. We're going to go with three points up in strength. We go one into dexterity. Yep. We go two points up into that, which is a constitution, and then two points up into cunning. Then I think I'll do one more into strength. There we go. We kind of did all of our levels all at once. The saw mastery increases our damage overall, so I'm going to get one of those. I do like the like constant damage increase. All right. Next up, we have overheat saws. Channel hot steam around your saws, burning foes you strike in melee for fire damage over turn over three turns, which can stack. So I definitely like the idea of that. Additionally here, spin your saws wildly around you to create a wall of uh, steamy saw teeth. Uh, all melee damage against you is reduced, and you have a chance to evade projectiles. Nice. And it can't actually one-shot me, which is also pretty darn cool. So I think that's going to be the play. So there we go. And what is this? You, gent you gently slam your saws into the wounds of a creature, dealing 71% weapon damage and deepening the wounds. Basically, it increases the duration of all bleeds. And the damage by 75%. That's interesting. When this happens, a gush of blood is projected in a narrow cone of radius dealing additional physical damage to all creatures. That's pretty cool, too. Gotta say, I'm a big fan of that. Um, let's see here. Therapeutics. 
All right, I think we need to start getting our armor training up. So there we go. We got three points up in our armor training. Our combat accuracy. Eh. It's probably a good thing, but we're going to increase our physical power. No, we're not, because we don't use swords, axes, or maces. We use saw power. All right, and then we're going to grab, I guess, this. Granting ourselves some extra stats. And there we go, folks. That is our level up. And we have our new skill here on the board. I like that. We're going to remove this over here. I don't know why we couldn't drink it, but that's okay. I am not going to complain about... Oh, oh, we drank it now. There we go. Now we have a new life. Yeah. All right, was the Yeti over here again? Yes. So if you guys recall, we talked to this... Uh, sorry, the Undead Minotaur. We talked to him last time. He is here once again, and you guys can pause and read that as I go through. Because I did this in the Gachi episode, I'm not going to spend the time to do it this time. We're going to see if we can't get a little bit further. The Clan of the Unicorn is here. Alright, I don't know if there's anybody else that we specifically need to talk to, but I think that there's probably not. Alright, all that being said, let's get out of here and get going. Unfortunately, we didn't get the Yeti mind control device like we did last time, so... No mind controlling the Yetis just yet. And we're in a new area. Well, actually, we're in the old area, but, I mean, we're in a new area from the town. For those of you scoring at home, there should be a Yeti cave right there. There is, and we're going to go back in there, and we're going to clear it out, just because it's going to be freebie XP for us. And we're going to head and do that right now. So you guys should be able to enjoy this immensely, or absolutely not. So if you guys are wondering, you can do a bunch of keyboard commands. You can do a bunch of stuff. You don't necessarily have to do anything one specific way. All right, so we're going to just wait our turn. Things should explode. There it is. It takes two turns. Oh, and we do have the extra equipment that we picked up. The therapeutic uh, plate mail. Can be used to cleanse up to three poisons or wounds and detrimental effects. All right. So we're going to actually toss that onto us. And I think we need to put that onto our bar as well. All right, and that's that, I suppose. Now we are rocking some seriously strong stuff going our way so we shall murder a few fools and I am looking forward to trying out the overheating of the saws did we get a defensive one too? yeah we did alright I don't know how effective block is and our therapeutic plate mail landed there we're gonna switch this one on over alright the yeti's gonna close with us we're gonna use that and we're just going to flat murder them. Alright, there are a lot of yetis up here. Let's go and use this. It's essentially going to make us a killing machine. And we did level up, so let's go and gain our additional level here. One into strength, one into constitution, another one into cunning. And from there we're going to probably get this too. I know a lot of people are probably like, no, don't get extra skills, just max the ones you have. You're probably at right. You're probably accurate. That is probably a good idea. I do like the idea of increasing our speed even further, but for now we're going to just increase our two of the arms attack and lower the damage that folks can do to us because of reasons. Alright, yes, I accept all changes. And we now have another new stat up on our dealie here. Alright, I think that we should probably... Oops, I didn't actually want to remove that from the field of battle, but okay. We're going to move you over. We're going to move you over. I like that there. I would kind of prefer... Forgive me, folks, while I move my bars around. I'm never exceptionally amazing at moving the old bars around, so... That's a thing to be aware of. We have that. I'm sure I got rid of something, though I don't remember what specifically. That's okay. That is okay. Well, we'll figure it out later. It's... Apparently something I didn't use very often, so there is that. Alright, sir. You want to do battle with me? Prepare to bleed, potentially. Potentially bleed. Alright. Yeah. Oh, that did a lot of damage. Holy. Okay. We're going to increase our speed now, and we're just going to go for straight flat murder. We did use up almost all of our steam power, though, so be aware of that. Alright, we're going to rest until our steam power is back to max, and we have done so. Now we're in the warm glow of the campfires, or the fires of the world, and we shall do murder. We just killed a giant rabbit. I feel pretty good about that, actually. Some people will be like, no, bunny murder. I'm like, bunny murder, yeah. It's pretty nice, guys. 
It's pretty darn sweet. Um, there's a hostel spotted to the southwest. Well... Oh, you were able to sneak your way through. That's interesting. Oh, okay, cool. Alright, another bunny murder. You wish to do battle with me, sir? Alright, we shall continue our little exploratory stuff. Hello, children of doom. Blah, it didn't actually do anything. It's okay. Wow, this rabbit's like, nope. Mm -mm. I want nothing to do with you at all, buddy. You are terrifying in many, many ways. Break through the door, slaughter the rat of doom or the mouse or whatever he is. It's fine. Alright, I think he's actually bleeding. Oh yeah, he was definitely bleeding. Alright, we're going to make ourselves a nasty, nasty killing machine of death and destruction. And the overheating of saws basically burns foes. It's like the radiance from Dota 2 if you guys are Dota 2 fans. So, there you have it. That's one thing that's really cool about the Tales of Magi All community. You don't have any, like, super ridiculously toxic people. Oh, that's pretty neat. Crude cave painting. You see here a crew of cave, cave painting, depicting a drake attacking a group of yetis as an indistinct figure watches over them. To the right, you see the drawing of the figure attacking the drake, and the yetis cheering. Alright, so there we go. Ooga booga, oh no! The yetis are like, yeah! Alright. Well, unfortunately we don't get to mind control any yetis this time around, but that's okay. We probably could have, but we chose not to. Alright. So simple and easy, we just picked up a sling, we don't have the the desire or need to kill the little pot on the ground this time, because we learned that that was a very good thing. Alright, we have murdered you, we have murdered you as well, and it's time to do Yeti murder. Alright, we have done that, and we're going to do that. I was hoping that would hit the rat, but it didn't. Which makes me rather sad. Alright, well we could change to the next level if we wanted to. But why would we ever want to do something like that? Alright, well, we can put them off balance. We're nearly done with this area, and we'll be able to go down into the next cave this time around, guys. And you'll get to experience that. You'll get to experience it all. Alright, let's go to the next... Is this up or down? I don't, I don't remember. Alright, what did we get? Anything worthwhile? I guess the bright lantern of focus might be a good item to have. Down here... Where did it go? Did I drop it? Ah! Oh, there. Oh, I put it in the wrong slot. My bad! The stabilizing rough leather helmet. I don't have a helmet at all, so this is probably pretty good. And I think that's it. Everything else can be transmogrified. Alright, there are a lot of angry yetis in this area. And we're rocking our hat now, looking like a boss. I'm gonna murder you. We're gonna murder you as well. We're gonna go and. This is flat murder you and you, so you and you and you and you and you. And why is this off cooldown here? Overheat saws. Hmm. I think we have to do that when we're actually really, really, really low on our steam power. So we actually need to utilize a lot of our steam in which to make this a reality. I am not entirely certain. Alright, we did level up again, so there is that. Hey, there's a gem on the ground. Very nice. And a wonderful rough leather piece of equipment. We did level up. I am aware of that, folks. I'm going to come over here and murder this guy. And we are going to begin anew. A new what? I don't know exactly, but something is new. Alright, so we have slaughtered that. And no, apparently we can do this again with the overheating thing. I'm not sure exactly what causes it. Oh, it's a sustained mode, so I either have it on or I don't. Oh, okay, so that means it's on. Oh, okay. Oh, that changes everything. I don't need that over there, then. All right, we'll put that over here, then. Cool. All right, cool. I didn't know that was actually a thing that happened. All right, let's level up. I'm going to go two into strength and one into constitution this time around. I kind of want to increase that, but at the same time, I really don't want to increase that. I don't use my steam engine that much. I'm going to get the faster speed here. And on this side, we're going to go with... Hmm, increase physical power. Hmm, increase the accuracy of all of our weaponry. I don't hate that. In fact, I think I'm going to go with that. All right, there we go. That is going to be the play. Yes, I accept that. All right, we're going to come down here after you. 
And I'm just going to see if I wait. He does continue to burn out to our stuff. That's actually pretty cool. Got to say, I like that a lot. A lot, a lot. All right, so there we go. We've moved onward. And we shall continue our slow and steady murder of this cave. And as you bleed, we shall spray everyone with your arterial red. It's going to be fantastic. And a sweet, sweet, nice style. Well, we're surviving pretty well, I must admit. All right, we made it to a ladder. There's a whole bunch of doors that we must go through. And a lot of murder and gold and various other things that we need to attain. All right, we shall kill you off, sir. We just picked up another lantern of some type. All right, this light radius plus four, and this one is a focus. We get a little bit of a... Uh... Okay, I'm okay with that. Brass lantern. All this stuff is kind of meh. Automated portable extractor. I'm not sure what that's all about. Anyway, folks, I think this is where I'm going to break off the episode. I hope you guys had uh, some fun. You see here a cave painting depicting a giant attempting to lead some yetis away in chains, being pulled down and mauled by other yetis. Hope you guys enjoyed this first look, or this first video of my coverage of Tales of Magi, All the Embers of Rage. Sorry if I played the nasty little trick on you guys, but I figured I had to do something. I've been teased for too long. I figured I would do some teasing. Anyway, guys, the game should release, or the DLC, the DLC should release just after this video goes up, or shortly after. So you guys can get your hands on that and enjoy. Hopefully you enjoyed the Steam Murder Death Machine that we are, and I will see you guys a little bit later this week with the next installment of Tales of Magi All, The Embers of Rage. Until then, my name is Bumpy McSquiggums. Thank you for stopping by The Freak Show, and I will see you later. <laughs>